I have a question. With all our technology, how come we don't have a useful quantum computer yet? The quantum computers we have today are more like a proof of concept prototype. Impressive demonstrations that hint at future potential, but really aren't practical for everyday use. Right now, they can only solve very specific problems under very controlled conditions. So what's taking so long? Physics. Mostly. Qubits, the quantum version of computer bits, are incredibly fragile. Even the tiniest interference or disturbance from the environment can destroy their quantum properties in milliseconds. Current quantum computers lose their quantumness so fast that you can barely get them to do anything useful before the quantum effects collapse. See, classical computers mess up about once every 100 quadrillion operations, while quantum computers, they're wrong roughly every thousandth calculation. You can't really build reliable systems on that foundation. So why not just add more qubits to power through the errors? Just like how you would add more bits to a classical computer to make it more powerful, the same goes for a quantum computer. But this creates a catch-22 from hell. More qubits means more power, but it also means exponentially more opportunities for things to go wrong. Plus, scaling up means larger facilities to store this machinery more than currently makes sense. And right now, the issue isn't even the storage, it's actually creating more qubits. For context, IBM's latest quantum computer has around 1,000 qubits. Google has about 105. For truly useful quantum computing, like simulating complex molecules, we likely need hundreds of thousands to millions of error-corrected qubits. That sounds very far-fetched and far off, but there is one company that claims to be on the path to a million qubits. Microsoft with their Majorana One chip. I got to speak with one of the leads on this project in their top secret quantum lab. And I got to straight up ask them if they actually did crack the qubit scaling issue. And you can watch the full conversation of that live on our YouTube channel now. For more science worth sharing like this, follow us everywhere at Today Learn Science at T-I-L Science.